Hello everyone and welcome to Philly Crypto Trading Plus. Are you confused by all this price volatility? Are you wondering where prices will be next? Well look no further, you're definitely in the right place. I'm here to solve these problems for you by providing clear, concise, and competent technical analysis. In today's tutorial we will be uh, analyzing Ripple. Uh, specifically we're going to cover uh, the triangle breakout that we talked about and called. We're going to talk about the 20 and the 50 uh, simple moving average. We're going to talk about trading rules for a second to uh, cover some new folks. Uh, Fibonacci extensions and also the MACD uh, relative strength and money flow as well. Uh, and also we're going to um, talk a bit about the trade room and some comments that we want to get into as well. That's basically what we're going to do today. Um, now, before we get uh, into the video, please be sure to smash that like button because it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content. It makes a huge difference to me. Also, I'm always trying to improve my videos and give you the best content I can. So please let me know what you like about my content and I will be sure to do more of it. Okay, and do that in the comments below. Okay, now uh, with that in mind, let's get into today's lesson. Trading rules, let's cover that first. Okay, guys, <clears throat> we call this parabolic move. Uh, never at, this is for traders, investors, you know, disregard. Traders, if you want to be a trader, you can lose a lot of money quickly. You can gain a lot of money quickly if you know what you're doing. Now, do not, I repeat, do not ever enter a trade without putting a stop in at the same time. Okay, and then what you want to do as the stock moves up, you want to bring it three to seven percent tolerance that, uh, below the price, and you always want to move it up and crowd yourself right on out of it, so that when the momentum stops, you're crowding yourself out and you're done. You're always moving it constantly, guys. Move, 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 move. Let it go. Let it run. Let it. Blah, 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 blah. And then you're crowded out, and then you're done. And bang. What do you know? Then you turn around and go, Wow, look at that. I just, I just got a nice trade. And I'm done, and I'm out. And you don't have to think about it, guys. Just follow that rule and make life simple for you, okay? So with that in mind, guys, went to about $1.10, $1.12, $1.11, 9 Okay, well, guess what? 3% back, you're looking at about dollar eight and a half. So if it's things hitting a dollar and you're not out, you did something wrong, okay? Trading rule, just pay attention, make your life easy, okay, guys? Now, uh, what I want to talk about real quickly is the 20 and 50-day SMA. The uh, 20 is in orange, and the uh, 50 is the purple one. So what we noticed here, guys, before we had our move, <clears throat> we had uh, a nice, it came back and flattened, and then we crossed back through the 50, and that's what happened right here, and then we busted out, right? So that's what we like to see. And also, you see how the 50 crossed the 100 right here, the 100 being in light blue, and our 200 continues to rise. So uh, when we did our last video, guys, we were probably around here right before it went out and we busted. So that's just what I want to point out in this particular chart. Here's a four-hour chart. Notice here, guys, the 20 SMA again. Look what's happening. It's rising. It's caught up already. Caught. This is a four-hour time frame. It's caught up to this uh pullback from the highs right so uh but ironically here's another triangle guys it's formed and if we bust through that obviously there's our next target i say this guys but for the new people when i say this is our next target that doesn't mean it's going to hit it tomorrow or in 10 minutes from now it means that we're going to be working in that direction towards it because that's what the fundamentals and the analysis says that's why you're here Okay, so I say that because a lot of people don't understand that. And furthermore, guys, when we get a pullback, that's normal and healthy. We want to see that because that's how we build the foundation with which to go higher. So it's not outlandish to think we're going to come back up and revisit these highs or get close to them. The question is, when we get there, what do we do? So that's just the four-hour time frame. Now, we're already approaching, uh, we're already gone through 94 cents again. Um, this is a Fibonacci extension give you a better look. Let's cover this real quick, though. Um, MACD looking really strong. You guys can see that. And by the way, these lines, guys, if they're not, uh, you can't see them too well, let me know. I, I embolden them a little bit, but then it starts looking chintzy and cheap when, and, and silly when I get them too bold. So, uh, but if you can't see them, let me know. And I can always, you know, in the comments and I'll certainly, uh, you know, make them a little bigger, but I don't want it to look too chintzy and cheap. But anyway, nice, strong MACD going on. We can see our relative strength index. We've got a nice little flattening here, which is great, which is coinciding with what's happening here, as well as the the money flow doing the same thing here that's what we want to see guys so here's our old line guys okay this was our target this was the triangle that we came out of the uh the uh, rise it was really a rising ascending triangle to a degree and so you see here 
Uh, this was our target, perfectly met, which was awesome. It was nice that it happened quick. But remember, guys, this coincided with the fact that um, on the 6th, um, they had a hearing. Uh, Ripple uh, had a hearing with the SEC, and it went pretty well. So that, that probably helped propel it a little bit as well. But what I want you to notice here is now that we moved up, we've come about halfway back, which is what we want to see. Uh, the 0.78 Fibonacci extension is at 81.85 cents. Look what happened here. We, we, we just barely, we, actually, we didn't even, I apologize, it's up here. So we touched that, we snapped right back, and we held that 90 cent area pretty well. Okay, so you can see now we're beginning to consult it there, which is what I would like to see. So we can get back up there and build some sort of foundation to be able to get up here and test this high again. That's what I'm looking to do. Now, as far as the Fibonacci extension goes, well, we're going to want to see the, the the blocks of a foundation building, the support building here first, and then get up on up here. What I'd like to see once we get here, I'd like to see some sort of a consolidation, guys, so we can go ahead and move to upper levels because I'll tell you right now, guys, a uh, dollar is very, very cheap for Ripple. Now they've got these, the, these problems are starting to get behind them. So um, Ripple is really just worldwide. There's a lot of things going on with this coin, guys. So that mind, our 1.618 Fib extension is at $1.31.2. Okay, so don't be surprised. I mean, that's, that's what we're looking to do, guys. But again, we want to see the foundations built. Just like a strong foundation in a house, guys, to be able to get up to these upper levels. We don't just want to pop up and, you know, $10 and come back to, you know, that we, we want to build foundations just rise because that's the kind of things that will keep it up there, guys, because we don't want to fail, right? So uh, I'm going to show you real quickly the four hour time frame. Notice how this is flattening nicely. And on the four hour time frame, the 20 day uh, simple moving average, look at this, riding it nicely, hugging it. And now look, we're moving back to the upside which is awesome but I like how that's caught up to it so now we're just going to need to do some consolidation upper levels and give these uh, these uh, higher averages chances to catch up but you can already see they're doing nicely and you can see here the uh, MACD is pulled back but nicely it's probably going to be flattening here pretty quick and kind of really looks like it's about to do it and the relative strength look at this guys flat all the way flat nothing just, I mean, just staying strong, guys, at 58. Actually, yeah, no, 60. So uh, very strong, guys. These are the kind of things we want to see. All these things all say the same thing, guys. Money flows backing off a little. That's all right, you know, but but the, but we'll get to a flattening here pretty quick. So these are all saying the same thing, guys. This is what we want to see. So we will move to the next levels, okay? Uh, now, also, real quickly, guys, the, uh, the trade room. We got the trade room going, guys. A two-for-one special, April. Uh, uh, if you join in April, uh, it's twenty dollars a month. We're going to give you uh, May for free, um, guys. We don't um, have a lot uh, as enough time to cover all the coins that are out there with these videos. That's why we do the trade room. Okay, uh, Dan is my administrator. He's quite capable, just like me. We both cover coins and tell you what to do, supports all this good stuff, uh, everything you want to know about the coins. So. Um, with that in mind, guys, take advantage of that special because it's it's a it's a joke. I mean, how cheap it is ten dollars for the two months. It's 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 a no brainer, honestly. And I say that, guys, because if you look around you in this economy that we're living in right now, where they're shutting all these businesses, all this crazy stuff going on. I don't want to get political for a sec, but the fact is, there are a lot of people out there that are hurting right now, and um, they can use this help. So I'd like to, uh, for the people, the new people that have already joined the trade room, A, I want to thank you for that, B, and, and, and also for your support, but but give us your uh, your feedback and input, very important and valuable uh, for the newer members that come onto the um under the channel to be able to see what it is um, is going on in that room and what you guys think of it. Is it good for you? Is it bad? Whatever the case may be, just your feedback is very important and valuable to those other members. Because remember, guys, in this economy, I don't know anybody out there who can't use a little bit of help. Okay, this is what we're here to do and to accomplish, and I need your help to do that. So I certainly would appreciate that. Um, so with that in mind, guys, um, I want to turn this video over to you now, and I want to ask you, what's the most valuable thing that you learned from today's lesson? Please let me know in the comments below, and please make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on, on future videos. Also, 
Make sure, please share. Please share, guys, okay? Um, the more subscribers that we do get, the better and more content I can continue making for you. So please, again, like, share, and subscribe, okay? Now, if you want to learn more, watch this next video.